the Jabra Elite 75T versus Apple AirPods Pro. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we'll take a look at the Jabra Elite 75T and how it compares to the Apple AirPods Pro. I will go over specs, features, provide music and microphone samples, then give my thoughts. I have included the links in the description below for the products. If you are new to my channel or have been here before, thanks for taking the time to watch. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. So let's take a look. On the left we have the Elite 75T and on the right is the AirPods Pro. I've done separate video reviews on them and have included it in the description and at the end of the video if you prefer to watch those. The Jabra's features 7.5 hours of listening time, 28 hours with the case. 15 minutes of charge will give you 1 hour. Bluetooth 5.0, button controls, an app, and it has a hear through feature. USB-C for charging, and it's IP55 dust, sweat, and water resistant. The AirPods Pro features 4.5 to 5 hours of listening time, 24 plus with the case. 5 minutes of charge will give you 1 hour. Uses Bluetooth 5.0, Force Touch, Voice Activated Siri, active noise cancellation, and transparent hearing. The charging case uses lightning and also wireless, and it's IPX4 sweat and water resistant. Looking at the cases side by side, they are fairly similar in size, with the Apple case coming in a bit slimmer than the Jabra's. On the front of the AirPods case, you have the status LED and the bottom is a lightning port for charging. The back of the cases you have the status LED and USB-C charge port on the Jabra and the pairing and setup button on the AirPods. The Jabra case has a compact feel and it provides a good grip all around. It's plastic and it has a Jabra branding etched in on the front. The lid is easy to open and close and it utilizes magnets. The earbuds are also held into place by magnets and easy to remove from the case. The inner lining of the case has a grippy rubber feel to it. The AirPods case also has the compact feel and it's plastic all around. It has a glossy finish to it and not as easy to grip compared to the Jabra. It uses magnets and the lid is easy to open and close and the earbuds are easy to remove. The case also has wireless charging and here it is on the charger. The Jabra earbuds are fairly small and utilize 6mm drivers. It has an ergonomic shape to it and the ear indicators are marked on the inside. And on the outer face you have a button control. Each of the earbuds have microphones, button control, LED, charging contacts, and interchangeable ear tips. There is also an app available, the Jabra Sound Plus. This will allow you to customize the EQ settings or use some of the presets. It also has a control for the hear through feature and you can toggle the volume levels. And here they are side by side. The AirPods Pro have a shorter stem design along with the new ear tips which the previous versions didn't utilize. It also has force touch on the stem to navigate playback and call controls. Each of the earbuds feature charging contacts, force sensor, interchangeable ear tips, microphones, H1 chip, dual optical sensors, and accelerometers. Inside the Bluetooth settings, you can manually toggle the active noise cancellation and transparency options, along with assigning them to each of the earbuds. It also comes with a new fit test that will ensure that you have the proper seal. Just put the AirPods on and press the test button until you will see your results. And here they are side by side. And now the Jabra and AirPods side by side. The Jabra case comes in at 2.4 by 1 by 1.4 inches. The AirPod case comes in at 2.3 by 0.8 
by 1.7 inches. Weight wise the Jabra case comes in at 33 grams and the Apple case comes in at 46 grams. The Jabra earbuds come in at 11 grams and the AirPods come in at 11 grams as well. Now for some music samples. This will give you a sense on how they sound like. It is not a full representation of the overall sounds as there is no replacements for actually having them on. It will then be followed by a microphone sample. Now for a microphone sample in a noisy setting. This is a test of the Jabra Elite 75T microphone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Now for a microphone sample in a noisy setting. This is a test of the Apple AirPods Pro microphone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. When it comes to the overall microphone quality, I found the AirPods to be louder and clearer. The Jabra's came in too low and muffled for my liking. The pairing process was instant for both and I had no issues. When testing video on an iOS device, there was no noticeable latency for either one. Range was also stable as I tested in a 1400 square feet setting. Here are my thoughts on the Jabra Elite 75T and the Apple AirPods Pro and sound could be subjective as everyone enjoys different types of sound signatures. Both are fairly comfortable, but I would have to give the edge to the AirPods. They both have the ear tip design, but the AirPods don't push in as much and you don't feel the pressure compared to the Jabra's. Also, the button placement for the force touch is in a good location, so you don't add additional pressure when navigating, unlike the Jabra, which has a button on the outer face. They both felt secured and had no issues staying to place while running. Build and quality I would say both are fairly equal. Cases and earbuds feel durable and use plastic. The Jabra does have a smaller form factor and it doesn't protrude out of your ears. It has a better battery life and IP rating compared to the AirPods. Navigating the playback controls are responsive on both. Both have transparent hearing features so you can listen to ambient noise. I found the Jabra's to be a lot louder compared to the AirPods. You also have the flexibility to control the volume for picking up the sounds on the Jabra's. The AirPods do have noise cancellation, so that's a plus, and it worked fairly well. I was able to block out the surrounding noise when I tested with conversations and fans running in the background. As mentioned earlier, the microphone was better on the AirPods during calls 
and I wasn't impressed with the Jabras. Now when it comes to sound, I think the clear winner for me is the Jabra Elite 75T. It definitely falls on the warm side. The bass is prominent and it just resonates. It's not overwhelming but very precise and tight. Mids and highs also come in clean and crisp, and I found that vocals do stand out but not too bright, and there's decent separation. The EQ settings in the app definitely helps and you can tailor it to your listening needs. The AirPods Pro is a definite improvement from the previous version, since it now forms a seal with the ear tip design. It seems as everything is taken up a notch, the bass is more prominent, mids and highs come in louder and clearer than the previous version. But it's not enough to outperform the Jabras. So the bottom line is both have its pluses and minuses as I mentioned. If call quality is not at the top of your list and you want good sounds, then the Jabra Elite 75T is a choice. If call quality does matter for you and you want some A and C features along with balanced sounds, then the AirPods Pro is a choice. So that is my comparison between the Jabra Elite 75T and Apple AirPods Pro. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.